did you pay in cash and not get a receipt? One of the worst things that you can do. Again, using my experience working for the IRS as well as outside, we'll ask, where is your documentation? It's very important to keep your receipts, your mileage logs, your documents like when you are going to buy some property. Where's your escrow statement? When you have provided us with some numbers as to what a deduction is, how did you calculate that? Do you have a set of books, either QuickBooks or Quicken? We need that. And when you have that information, let's say on, on QuickBooks, where did you get those numbers? Do you have the documents to back it up? Part of the program of QuickBooks will have a general ledger. The general ledger is where you have the different transactions. You purchased this, you purchased that, you paid for this. Did you keep the receipt? Because there's no documentation of it. So if you were under exam by the IRS or other tax agency, they're going to say, well, we need proof of payment. And then we'll need to also prove what was it that you would you purchase? And, and as an, an example, suppose you purchased something from Target. Only you know that it was for business, but Target sells many different things. You don't have the receipt that shows that you purchased, let's say, flash drive. It could be that you just bought some candy. We just have the total. You're not going to get a deduction. <laughs>